doing my lovelies i hope all is good in your neck of the wood in today's video i am going to be organizing sorting slash purging my handmade and vintage closet the weather has been beautiful here on the south coast of ye olde england and admittedly i'm more of a moon bather than a sun bather and I thought that I had a lot of summery outfits and items that I could be wearing but actually I've just been wearing the same thing so as I'm going through my wardrobe I'm going to be asking myself a key question and that is why am I not wearing this? Some items might just be treasures and they're not really suitable for the super hot weather that we're having. Other things maybe I'm just not liking them anymore or I don't know. So as I go through, I'm going to be asking that, trying stuff on and uh, maybe having a bit of a purge and we shall see. So the first thing that I'm going to do is pull out the vintage bits, the precious items, the treasures. of my big issues with my wardrobe at the moment is that it's just not colour coordinated. I've not sort of put things back carefully and I'm um, quite OCD about the wardrobe being colour coordinated. I like to see what I've got in stories and then it makes it easier to find things. Although of course this section is probably my favourite colour and then we've got the pinks and I'm wearing this mostly at the moment. So got to coordinate all the colours. I've put all the precious things in a pile, the precious shouldn't be in a pile and then I've got this whole load of stuff that is sort of either, well I think most of this just doesn't quite fit at the moment so um, I'm gonna have to make some decisions about some of this stuff pink lots and lots of pink um, I really love this is McCall's something or other I can't really remember um, I'm not wearing it because uh, the buttonholes are a bit big and also I have this terrible habit of putting too tight elastic in and there's another dress that I've done that to this one which I love 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 it's a sort of vampire's wifey style dress so that's the kind of thing that I'm looking at when I'm sorting through stuff the reason I'm not wearing these is because they need a couple of simple repairs so I've got um, a few piles developing on my bed on my bed not on my person uh, so it's like to be repaired or amended um, stuff that I love and I'm wearing stuff that I love and I'm not wearing and then my uh, vintage and whatever treasures that are sentimental not going to get rid of absolutely love my sweetie blouse it was a patreon project and I love this fabric but I just don't wear it and the reason I don't wear it and it's a really simple little thing it needs to be fitted a bit better but this full gathered skirt which I do like I don't think it's the most flattering thing on me but I'm not particularly that worried about it because you can cinch it in with a belt but it's just ever so slightly short and what I find with circle skirts and full skirts is that if they hit the wrong place on you they can just be really unflattering. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the skirt off and I am going to just refit the top part properly and I'm gonna cut a Dita skirt, one of my Dita skirts and sew that back on so it becomes more of a wiggle dress and I think I will wear that far more than as is because I can't really rescue this, there's not enough fabric in it. So that's the plan for that one. And then I can wear this in the winter over shirts and so on. It just doesn't feel right for some reason. And you've got to go with your instincts, right? You've got to feel good 
in your clothes. You've got to enjoy them and feel good. And if you're not feeling good in something, even if you love it on the hanger, if it doesn't feel right on you, then it's no good. I'm really happy to wear black even in summer and I wear these a lot. This needs a little repair because the the little um the little button loop has come off so I need to repair that. This dress I made a long time ago and I didn't think I liked it but I love it. Been wearing that. This is a vintage 1940s shirt. It's a bit warm for this time of year but love it. And then a black linen Greta dress, which I love and I'm enjoying wearing. I really need to make um, some sort of cream or white cream sort of items for the wardrobe. And I think a white Greta would be perfect for these summer months, even if I don't want to go out in the sun because I melt, because I'm vampiric. So I'm realising this closet purge organising sort out isn't going terribly well because all I'm doing is telling you about things that I want to make or get more of. And that's not really the point. So far, the purge is not really purgy enough. So these little sun top sets with full circle skirts or even my Dita skirt are my most favourite makes in my wardrobe. But I have noticed when I've put these on recently that... Um, <sighs> I'm more boobalicious this summer than I was last summer and now none of them are really fitting me which is really annoying so I'm wondering if I just move the buttons over will that do the job because this one is made of a really beautiful vintage cotton with fairies on but two hangers people two hangers why everything is now piled up on my bed into sort of four-ish piles so this pile here is all things that I really love there are a couple of things that I need to sort out there then I've got these things here which are sort of things that I'm not wearing or you know I don't really know why and these are sort of precious things or vintage things or things that I feel quite um, confused about what I'm doing with I mean, to be honest, there's quite a bit of confusion going on everywhere. And then over the end of the bed, those few items there are things that I need to just do a little bit of mending on. So those aren't the problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start putting back and rehanging and just checking over because, you know, the dreaded moth sort of things. And, you know, certain things that I'm not wearing. So, for example, this is one of my Greta blouses made out of a lovely vintage cotton it's really beautiful and I'm not wearing it and the only reason I'm not wearing this is because I don't know what to wear with it I mean a black circle skirt most probably is the thing that I would wear with it but you know as I'm sort of thinking about the wardrobe and putting things back together I can kind of put outfits together or make decisions about things that really are missing I already know that I'm missing things like jackets in my all through the year I'm missing jackets so that's something that needs to be sorted out and um, yeah got to make a bit of a brave decision about these things that are just not fitting me and can they be amended if not do I love them so much I want to keep them or am I just going to have to, you know, sell them or donate them or whatever it is? So far what I'm doing, I'm putting jackets and kimonos at the end, then coordinating colours. Uh, and a little tip is as you go, make sure that things are hanging on the right hanger. So. This vintage 30s velvet sort of leopard print jacket was on a hanger that was too short for the shoulders and what that's going to do is damage the, the garment. So just as you're going, do that and replace any lavender anti-moth stuff that you've got as you go as well and check, check for the dreaded moth. Then I start to try on things that 
I'm unsure of. And so this top, like a smock top made from a Liberty lawn, I made such a long, long time ago and it looks really nice tucked in. It's got that sort of peasanty, gypsy-ish type top style. The sleeves are really cutting in though, which would sort of prevent me from wearing it, but there's quite a lot of gathering there. So I'm gonna take a punt on this, do a bit of alteration. This is another Liberty print. It's got like little rockets and things on it. And I love this, this is one of my cow neck Dame Viv type dresses. But where I've got a bit boobalicious, it's just a, a little bit tight. So then this is where you have to ask yourself the question, if you put on a little bit of weight and you're not fitting into clothes that you love, do you just get rid of the clothes or try and alter them? Or do you make the decision to see if you can shift that little bit of excess fabulosity that you have put on so that you can get back into your clothes? Because it's quite wasteful to just get rid of loads of clothes because you've put on, say, like an inch on your boobs. Is it just because I'm aging and this is what's happening, which is fine. You know, I'm happy with who I am and the size that I am. I'm not happy about not fitting into these things because I'd really love to um, wear this dress. I really love these dresses. They're like my most favorite things. I say that about loads of my stuff. But, um, and look, pochettes, pochettes. Um, and I would really like to wear this. So, and also the fabric's so precious. And, um, you know, and I actually, I can't make this any bigger because the seams are small. So, do I make that decision? And then what's a healthy way of doing that and achieving that? I really don't believe in that thing of, I've got that item of clothing that I'm keeping so that I can slim down into it. That's my motivation because I've never found that to be a particularly healthy mindset for myself. However, I really want to get into this dress and I know that from measuring myself, I've put on a couple of inches around the boobalicious bit. And so maybe, maybe it would be a good idea to think about this one. Let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think it's a good thing to diet as such, to fit into clothes? Or do you think that that's a no-no? I'd love to know what you think. This is my favorite print of all time, Honeymoon, Liberty of London. I'm getting a bit disheveled, do excuse. So this is a sample of a top I was making um, and gonna do as a pattern. But it's really, really unflattering. So what I'm wondering is if I do something with it. So take it in or just take it apart and recut the panels. I think I might do that because this fabric is too good to waste. But look, it's really sort of, yeah doesn't work this doesn't work I've just found this really lovely top this silk beautiful print lovely details again another peasanty style I bought this from whistles many many years ago I'm getting more disheveled as I try stuff on and it's extremely hot um, and it looks great with this little linen skirt which I've not really been wearing but um, I found a few little tops but, you know, yeah, I'm going to keep this outfit on for the rest of the day, I think. Very nearly there now. This is the last thing, actually, that I'm trying on. Mm. This is a Florian dress by Night and Day Patterns. Needs a bit of a tweak. Um, the back's a bit long. Needs an amendment. But it's a really comfortable dress, I think. Um, and I like the fabric. I just, I don't know just doesn't feel 100% right, but it, it's good for sort of wafting around on a hot summer day. I think I'm gonna do a hack of this. So I've got to sort of amend the fit because I like the concept of the dress, but I think I might do something 
pretty and shaped, possibly. Anyway, I lied when I said I was going to wear the last thing all day. I'm just going to stay in this because uh, I've had enough of trying stuff on. So we're nicely colour coordinated now. Kimonos, black dresses, tops and skirts and then into the whites and creams through them into the peaches and pinks then into the blues and then one green jumpsuit at the end. So very happy with that. Still got a couple of things to hang up but I feel a little bit more excited now about my wardrobe. So this pile here is to be ironed and then hung up in the correct colour section on my rail. This is the to go pile so I've done quite well there. There's a few things. I have a bag of things just to put away because they're sort of treasures or actually not really appropriate for the um, time of year couple of bits to go in my other wardrobe which is there which is all winter stuff so I haven't gone through that and then these things are to repair and remake which includes this so jobs are good and very pleased with the progress I've made and organizing my wardrobe I've learned a few things along the way and I'm left with a couple of questions and the main one is do I trim down a little bit to fit into these items of clothes or do I just make all new clothes? Mm, I don't know. I'm very tempted to do the latter but you know time and money is of the essence and actually where we are at this time of the year I feel like it's probably wiser to start thinking about clothes that I would wear in the colder months and get knitting and sewing for those because what I'd like to do is make more of an effort with my clothes that I'm sewing in terms of like the finishing so yeah I've got a few things to think about I hope that you found this video enjoyable and a little kind of peek into my organizing my wardrobe progress will be helpful useful inspiring interesting amusing for you let me know your thoughts about any of the things that I've said and if you've got some wardrobe organising tips and techniques then do share in the comments because it's always useful to know these things. I hope that wherever you are in the world my lovelies you're keeping safe and well and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care, bye!